Hello guys, and we're back. Um, this is Joke Nick, everybody, and at the moment, um, we're going through a phase of starvation. <laughs> um, everybody right now is going to be dying during this very short while. As you can see, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people, nine, dead, dead. This graveyard is surely going to be very filled. Up to the top. Um, as you can see, we're not doing too good, guys. Tools were low, food were low. It looks like maybe Rickson is gonna die. I'm, I can't tell you. Uh, I, uh, right now we got, right now we've got the gatherers coming to get some food. We need a builder for that. Have we got any builders? We got three builders. We got a um, another fishing dock coming. Obviously, we just need the staff to build it. Not the staff to build it, we need the staff to run it. If everyone's gonna die, which they pretty much are doing. This graveyard is nearly full. Two more slots for dead people. Um uh, yeah, but I'm not sure if we're gonna come at this one this time. We've run out of food oh what else we need to do? Pause that, we need to get some logs there quick. Let's just deforest all this while we still got people. Easiest place to get it. Dark on ten. Let's get these bar these things before winter comes. Winter's already here, so we so now we got freeze. Now people are freezing to death. Hurry up, guys! Come on! Come on! Come on, guys! Get these trees! Get these trees! This isn't good. This is not good at all. They're still building over there. The builders are. So that's coming along. Let's just hope that we can come out of this one. Uh, another death. How many people have died? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, I've died of starvation. Babies not available. Starvation. That's not good. These guys are breeding like rabbits basically. So now we got some wood which is coming in so the fire guy, the um, ch wood chopper should come in and start chopping us up. Someone's died so we need to we can't get a farm there. Oh no. Herdsman back on that. Herdsman died of starvation. Who died of starvation? Oh, oh. Herbalist died. Damn! Come on! Come on! Ah! Got that wood. Come on! Come on, guys. A bit more. As you can see, um, you can never predict what's going to happen. It's not like a, uh, you know, a, a walkthrough game. This is just see what happens. Like maybe if someone else was playing it and we had the same situation, they wouldn't be starving to death because the people aren't fussy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but obviously, you know, we needed the we need the crop. We need the seeds from the trader to get anywhere in the world or we'll get some decent food coming in, so no one will be starving 24/7. Um, Where's the herbalist? Keep that there. What was the uh, position? Oh. oh, we died. Everybody died. Child died. Hunters died. There's a trader. Let's see what he has. Patience. No patience at work. Oh, come on. Please have some cabbage. Pecan. Let's get some pears. Let's get the food here. Trade. So 
make it 600. There you go. Trade that. Is that food? I'm guessing so. Uh, haha, <laughs> yes! Finally, jumped up a little bit. We're not on the food chain anymore, we jumped up. We jumped away from starvation. That's lucky. Yeah, we, I was doing this before, um, before uh, I started this uh, this episode now. Um, what this boat came last time was a... Um, was a... Uh, Apple seeds. I bought all the apple seeds but ran out of tools. So then the starvation came and pretty much everything fell apart. So lucky for us that was completely different. Shame it wasn't cabbage seeds. We could really do with some cabbage. Um, but all that matters now is that we got plenty of wood, got plenty of iron and plenty of stone. But no food again, the food's completely vanished. We've got one coat though, we've got some leather. Why? What's your problem? Why aren't you? Warm coat, wool and leather. What do you need for it? Wool and leather. You got leather here. Plenty of leather. Plenty of wool. Get to work, you lazy bugger. Probably needs it over this side. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. So it's hopefully another trader will come. The food's gone back down again. The basics. We need to keep on an eye on the wood six the wood situation we're in. We got these guys are working there, the guy from the hut's working there. So let's get Oh we got no workers at all. These fishermen are completely gone. So let's just hope that school's got seven students coming, so we got some more workforce on the on its way. Uh, which is which is nice, you know, which is a good thing. I'm gonna chop down all these trees. This guy needs a woodcutter, but forget it. If we chop down these trees, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be no venison, so we're gonna have even more. Look, the food storage is no, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not just that. But the trees are coming back, and we got all of this. So, and the deer here is. Since since we chop the trees down, the deer here and the, the veggies and the onions and whatnot all around. I don't understand this. Very confused. Plenty of food again for some reason. We got lots of this. We need that trader. I think I've said it about twenty times already. We need that trader, boys and girls. We need a trader. If we don't get the trader, we're fucked. We're not going to be fucked. We survived. We survived fires. We've survived starvation, cold. We don't. We don't, we can. We're the best. We're the best. <laughs> nah, no. nah. No, I'm not going to say that. Because we've got a disease now. We've got. We haven't even got a physician. I'm not going to take it off. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that. That's just mindless worrying. So let's go back here. Let's have a look. So what's going on down here? These guys are built up. Wicked. These trees are going to be growing back. It looks empty when it's not growing back, but it'll be good when it does. They're working away as they do. We've got plenty of woods. We just need the um, woodcutters to actually woodcut. Their woodcut in there, which is great. We've got plenty of wood, wood tools. Got some more tools over here. We really need the trader. Also, let's have a look up here. It's a very small map, actually, so we can't really build that much. We can build down here a little bit, and that's pretty much it. We've kind of got a very decent sized village already, so up here we need to get to. That would be nice to build another orchard kind of area here. Not orchard, a. Um, a gather sort of a woodcutter and whatnot to build like a little in this valley place and then have some houses here and whatnot and then down here we really need to get the quarry people on the go but I think we're going to build the quarries the quarries here what I said in the last I think it was on the third 
the third episode which you should, which you should check out I think it's a lot more funnier than this one so far because we had all the disasters but uh, yeah um, I think we're going to build here is going to be where the quarry and stuff is going to be the more of the uh, the heavy duty the heavy duty resource gathering this is going to be crap fields obviously we got the extension it's going to come all the way up here this is going to be crap fields around this area <laughs> oh pardon me guys working hell of a lot this week it's very tiring um, so yeah this is this is great and I think we're doing great so far speeds up on 10 so so yeah they're still starving they need the wood they need the firewood which I don't understand why no one's no one's doing it Oh, we need a. There we go. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is good. Which one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Keep that. Keep that. Come on, please. Please be seeds. No. Let's buy some anyway. Just to keep the food up. That wicked. So all the food's going in there, and it's all gone. And all these people are going to eat it. Eat away. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So we got free labors, gatherer. Why are we so many gatherers? Oh, they all died, didn't they? Need more hunter though. Get over here, get a hunt on that. Hunters are good. But half and half, which is alright. Uh, Herdsman is alright there. Forests forest ain't doing too good. Herbalist ain't doing too good. Taylor isn't doing anything anyway for some reason. We got a trader. We need a trader, so we'll take two of that. Put one herbalist back up here, just in case. Get another gatherer. There you go. So let's let let's let it uh, work work away again. And uh, we should get to we should be getting somewhere soon. Sorry about the wait, you know. Currently it's a game, you know, this is what the game's like. You spend hours and hours waiting for the opportunity to arise. To get anywhere. The only good thing is we got plenty of food. I think there's this other fishing hut here and this little extension which is helping us out a little bit trade is on his way bye bye buddy thank you for the squash and walnut seeds got, got these coming in he's got leather but he ain't got no wool graves are full 4 of 12 we need to, we need to get at least 8 or something We'll kill him off. We need more logs, guys. That's what we need, logs. So these are there. We'll go up this side and chop all these down. Not a good thing to do. But there you go. So right now, yeah, we're just surviving. Um, all I really want to do for the tutorials was from the very beginning to build crop fields just to show you we can like spruce up the food situation and then that's pretty much all I really want to show you so far and then, um, in the next series I'm going to carry on doing my South Park walkthrough um, and then I'm going to bring you a new special game which is not new new brand new it's kind of old now but I've been meaning to play it for a very long time it's more of a horror genre 
Um, I'm really, really rubbish at um, scary movie. I was watching what was it called? The Black, Black Woman in Black. I know, whew, with the Harry Potter guy in. I forgot his name. I know he's not the Harry Potter guy, but everyone says in England, oh, it's the Harry Potter guy, you know, that's what he's famous for. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, like, I was, I was watching, I was shitting myself. It wasn't even that scary, but I was just shitting myself. Which was kind of funny. The wife was laughing her head off, and I was just like, oh, I don't want to watch it, you know, had a few nightmares the same night as well, which wasn't, obviously, because of that. I get really freaked out by very silly things like that. I know it's just a movement, it's harmless. But when I play horror games, whoo! Scream. Scream a lot. So this is why I'm playing strategy nice cottagey games, because my little brain can't handle can't handle scary ones like that. But damn. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, you can come back and have a watch with me and uh, you know send some love over. Um Also, I do have to say, on a, I think it was Wednesday, or was it? Tuesday? Yeah, Wednesday. I, uh, I don't know if anyone knows, but I do live in London. I, um, I'm very fortunate, I suppose. Not with the prices. If anyone, any of those people outside. Outside London, maybe the US or you know Asia or wherever you wherever you may be, uh, it, it's uh, it's very expensive. I've got to say the least. I've been living here for four years now, and um, yeah, well anyway, I've got, uh, it's a happy ending to this. Like in London, you have to hustle. It's simple as you have to hustle. You got to work hard, or your London will eat you up and spit you out. It's not like Beijing or anything like that, you know. Where you literally you will be spat out on the street and no one will help you. Obviously, people will genuinely help you now and again, but London will spit you out, guys, and throw you on the street. You know, so you gotta be wary about these kind of things. Uh, like that's why I work a hell of a lot, and not every week I can bring out videos which I really want to do. You know, I love doing these things, but uh, I'll get to the happy bit now. Um, when uh, obviously I work a lot, and uh, I decided on Wednesday uh, on Wednesday. To, to get up at 6.30 after work, I, I, I do the night shift a lot of the time, and uh, to visit these lovely places in London, like a lot of the, the lot of the tourist areas. So I spent the whole day in these um, galleries and whatnot, because I am an artist, and uh, I had such a great time. Fish berries. We'll take some apples, why not? Got 160 apples. So we got 160 apples and just to boost that food up a little bit. We'll dismiss that because we don't need it. Uh, and um, and uh, yeah, I would I would recommend going more to the Tate Britain than to the Sachi Galley. The Sachi Galley has just very interesting stuff, um, but they, uh, I will I will definitely say that the uh, Tate Britain is a lot better than the Sachi Galley one because it's huge. I actually never finished it. I got too tired. I was worn out at the time. I got I got halfway through the tea and I was dead. The Saji Gallery is a very interesting location. It has a very posh area which I never really noticed before, uh, which which is you know, great, which is great. You got lots of art over there, uh, but uh, as I said, the Tate is much more better. There's a lovely pub just up the road as well. I don't know if anyone, I'm going to do a painting and maybe I'll show you guys on a tutorial of how I paint my paintings and whatnot. Uh, but you should definitely uh, check that out. There's a pub up the road which is really nice. It's got like a, a haunted, a haunted uh, basement, you know, cellar. So uh, you should check that out if you ever get a chance to come to London and you're in the area, go and definitely go do them because it's the free, the worth your time, and uh, there's a lot of fun. You know, obviously, if that's not your thing, there's a lot more things you can find. There's a lot of hidden stuff in London, which you won't believe what goes on in this city. Uh, so. so yeah, I think I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbours have got a takeaway and they're very, very happy.
So yeah, we're still we're still on the starvation and the freezing a little bit. We still got wood, but for some reason they aren't producing enough. We got wood over here, which is coming. Uh, we're still waiting on, we're still waiting on a. Uh, Still waiting on that trader to bring those seeds. And we're back at starvation. We're so early summer for some reason we're not doing too good. Food, we're, we're doing good on food. Someone's died. What of starvation? So we're back at square one again. Early summer, so at least it's coming to the year. Um, at least it's coming to. Uh, we should have bought more food from the trader. Bloody idiots, aren't we? Well, I am, I mean, sorry, not you guys. Um, should have really. Venice, here, oh, oh, it just gets eats straight up. It's gone. All gone. There's leather there. Why aren't you Why aren't you working? But how I get leather? Come on, get to work. Work. Oh, I see. We need a, uh, what do you call it? Tailor. You got a tailor. Did it work? Yeah, it's working now. 7th is full. I'm sure we're going to need another one very soon. Now we're in late summer, even though we haven't really even seen summer yet. The bastards. The bastards. Come on, get working guys. They're replaying. All we need is silly silly seeds. We just need seeds. Come on. Shouting at them. Why is the seed? Stop dying of starvation! Suck it up! No, I can't say that. This is my fault. Oh no, we're stuck. We we pause this. Alright, we need to get some of these wood up here. We have enough. Oh. Get this. Come on. Get this wood. Get the wood. Get the wood. Oh look, here's a trader. Come on, please, please bring some food or something. What should be sheep or cows? Let's have a look what you got. Lava. <sighs> Pointless. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did -did -did -ding. Everybody's starving. Yeah. Everybody's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Our population is gone. Pretty much gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh no, we're not doing too good. Oh, this is not, not happy about this one. It is on difficulty, master difficulty, so, you know, this isn't easy. Should be really planning ahead. Um, but I just watched the last, uh, my last edits on um, my, other, my other episodes. I knew what I was doing, so I just jumped straight in, but I've completely forgot my steps. Like, even though I'm talking now, I've got these little steps in my head of what I need to do next. Um, and what's happened is I've just blown them straight out, and I'm just willy nilly and pressing stuff down. And now everybody's died. So, let's have a look at the population. Yeah, we've still got, still got plenty of people. Laborers, let's get labor on there, dude. Fish again. Yeah, 
it's good to like everybody dies because then we get back to square one again and you just we have plenty of food plenty of wood we don't really have that much of a big village like we should be we don't have the population to build anything you know all we need is these fucking fields I am pissed off with this now I'm extremely pissed off Where is it? Come on, trader. If we had two trading posts, it'd be like <laughs> lots, or even three. Imagine if we had three trading posts, boats coming in and out all the time. That'd be great. But I rick them. Oh, pardon. My apologies. Man, I'm mixing, guys. We starved to death and freeze. Everybody's gone. Come on, work. Look okay, at what you doing? What are you doing? <whistles> Fish here? Why? What? That? Why are you starving? There's fish here. Well, it's lugs. Come on, chop, chop, chop. Stone, iron. Plenty of stuff going down here. Come on, got little hunters. Hunters and all that nonsense. Oh, what's going on? It's not even full. So yeah, now everyone's froze, freezing to death, I'm guessing. Starvation. You're not even... Where's the labourers? Oh, one labourer. Let's get some more labourers. Woodcut, you need a woodcut. Oh, you do. No wonder. We've got no students coming. We got no no work for no work for us. Oh no, this is not going good. This is not good at all. You know what guys? For this, I'm just gonna explain what would normally happen. So when you have a decent village, which doesn't happen in like Vixen right here, where we're starving and dying to death, what would happen is um, if you had like the workforce and the labour and stuff. No, I don't know if I built too fast or what was my mistake. Uh, what happens is when you have fields like so, you would have to put like two people, one person, two people into here. So that's what five people all together five people and they'll just plant cabbage every spring collect it in the late uh, summer or, or late winter uh, late, late, late autumn I think it is I'm not too sure about the cycle of food um, and normally obviously these areas here wouldn't be starving to death either none of these would be freezing or starving to death because we have no, load, uh, no wood or anything uh, the traders and the traders we're trying to wait for the la next boat, but if there's no seeds coming. In fact, you know what? There's, there's no. We have no population. We're dead. This village is um, long, long. It was, it was dead long ago. Uh, I'm gonna bring you a new villi village in, um, in my next series, which will be not on master difficulty. I just wanted to kind of show you how to. Oh wait, trader, 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 trader. Wall coat? No! So yeah, that was... I was hoping that maybe that would have been seeds and I could have shown you, like, practically. But it's just the same as this. You get the you get the sheep from the trade, the seeds from the trader, blah blah, put them into this, and then you put the... and you harvest it, you press that down, and you'll have, like, cabbage, potato, and you'll harvest a potato. It goes into the storage field, 
just like the mushrooms from the gatherer's hut or the venison from the hunter's hut or the fisherman from the fisherman hut fisherman's um, duck sorry uh, that's what you really need to know uh, when it comes to my next series I'm going to show you uh, you'll be able to see it you'll see it working in my next in my next few episodes of banished but like I said I'm going to finish the South Park walkthrough next and then bring you uh, the horror game and then come back to banished as a new start um, and get back into it because I've been playing this game a bit too much that it's got to the point where we're like wow yeah like I need to start playing this game I put too many hours into it and uh, I just want to say thank you for watching anyway guys and I do appreciate it obviously it's not professional to stop a tutorial where I haven't finished what I said I was going to do but in the in the like in the in the in the practical sense of things I mean but I have shown you by li like literally you use plenty of people just like this guy's working ahead here and when you want to harvest it you just harvest it they do it automatically just like the woodcutter does the woodcutting it's all self self employed people they all know what they're doing they aren't stupid they know what they're doing um, but I do recommend that you do build these these little um, like sort of nature reserves I do recommend that you don't get a trader straight away but later on in the game you definitely do make sure you have plenty of fishing villages as you can see um, how many houses we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we got about 30 houses and we got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fishermen. We got 2 hunters. So I'd recommend, as you can see, our population's gone. We've got no workers left. No people that the trying to survive. This is they're all gone. So what I recommend is that you have a lot more before you build an extension like this. Where I thought it was going to work, make sure you have at least three of these somewhere dotted around where you got plenty of income coming in. Or better yet, if the reason why we have fishing docks is because we don't have a trader to uh, we don't have it. We don't have the the seeds to have the have the fields or else we'd have fields and what happens if the fields are too big sometimes you do get plague but like I said I will show you all of this later on in my next episodes of Banished which is going to be on a medium difficulty uh, I'm going to have the, the, the weather on difficult though and um, harsh weather so I want to see the weather how the weather changes and the tornadoes and whatnot. you can get into it but like I said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to to, uh, to subscribe. Uh, please like this. And um, yeah, leave a comment. Share with your friends. And just have a great day again. You know, uh, look after yourselves. Don't work too hard like I do. It kills you. You probably tell by my voice right now. It's just bleh. So yeah, don't work too hard, guys. Have plenty of fun. Spend time with your families and whatnot, you know. Just have a great time. Have a great weekend. Have a great day whenever you watch this. Have a good night. Goodbye. Thank you.